Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. With this year's end, we will discuss my favorite games of the year, and then some. Although I missed a lot of great games, I did pick up some games that I really wanted to try dearly, but just never got around to it or pretty much waited for Black Friday. Before that, let's see my top 5 favorite games that I played in 2022. At number 5, we have Kirby and the Forgotten Land for the Nintendo Switch. Playing this game with my son, I found that this game was very addicting with Kirby's first foray into the 3D world. The game still feels like a 2D Kirby game, but in 3D which really nails the tight controls. The visuals here in, and the level design in the enemies really stand out, but playing co-op was really fun in itself. A surprise gift to my son that I couldn't end up stopping playing and loving. At number 4, we have a sports game that totally surprised me a whole lot more was with MLB The Show 22. Hands down the best baseball simulation game out there. The game plays great, but I love creating my own character and taking them from the minors to the majors playing as a hitter-pitcher combo like the cover star Shohei Otani. What a great game overall that really rivals my old favorite sports game of all time, NFL 2K5. This got him. A perfect ending to a perfect game. Just unbelievable. I was nervous. My third favorite game comes at the hands of yet another Nintendo Switch game, which is a JRPG with Xenoblade Chronicles. Just when I was disappointed with JRPGs, Coming is a masterpiece in design and a fantastic story to boot. The game is huge with so much to do. I had to start skipping all the side quests and activities just to have a chance in finishing this behemoth of an RPG. Visually stunning really surprises me here with how far cell shaded anime inspired characters can really look given to the right developers. From Agnes, right? What the? So you are then? Why are you fighting me? Uh, as if you can talk, you're the ones attacking us. What, too scared to fight now? Too late! <laughs> My second favorite game would have to be A Plague's Tales Requiem. Boy, was this a hell of a journey from beginning to end. I hate puzzles, but this game is so emotionally charged that I had to see what happened next for my characters. Plus, the visuals and the environments are absolutely fantastic and breathtaking. There were so many times I would just marvel at what the developers were able to accomplish here. With the story, voice acting, to the visuals, this one is a must play. My favorite game of the year comes at the end and probably a no brainer as well with God of War Ragnarok. My first game that I paid $70 for and absolutely proud of it. Worth every penny as this game in its, is in its own masterclass as others would say. The game has incredible visuals, design elements, fantastic action and combat scenarios with an incredible story. I was so invested here that I actually became addicted to try to solve every puzzle, collecting every item I came across, and enjoying each and every second of the story. Truly amazing. I loved how Grado's grunts and also emits so much emotion from it is where you know you have a winner.
Of course, I left some games off the list, like Elden Ring, which I was reluctant to play due to its being a Dark Souls formula where I just can't take punishing games. But with Black Friday, I was able to pick some games up that I just can't wait to play. Here are some games I can't wait to take a look at with all the deals this past holiday season. Elden Ring is at the top of my list, but I plan to play this with a friend as I heard it's nice to share misery with company if this game is that tough. I have heard those who hate the Dark Souls formula love this game and I hope for that experience to be the same. Brandish the Elden Ring. For all of us. Another game getting pretty much bashed with its reception was the newly released Saints Row. I love the series starting with Saints Row 3, which is still one of my favorite open world games of all time. So I'm a bit of a fan when it comes to this release. Hoping the game is all patched up and ready to play when I get there. We call ourselves the Saints. Some PlayStation games here I had to check out for their low, low price was Horizon Forbidden West and The Last of Us Part 2. I was too busy playing MLB The Show that I did forget that I planned to get Horizon when it went on sale. But now is my chance. The Last of Us Part 2 was also a game I wanted, with Part 1 so gripping in its storytelling, but with all the negativity from its reception, I never sought it out. At 9 bucks, a must try. I didn't forget about Nintendo Switch here with so Yoshi's Crafted World and Mario Plus Rabbit's Sparks of Hope. Gifts to my son that I believe I will have to play once I get my hands on the system, of course, when my son's asleep. So many games to play. I hope to review them all as we keep gaming and finding all kinds of gems no matter what system they're on. By the way, of course, Vampire Savior is one of hell of a addicting game that everyone should give a chance. I was a hater turned absolute fan on this one. That's it for this episode and look at games of 2022. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Damn.